It's joining me today. Check it out. If it's who. We've got the Tonga Michael Jackson, yes, of it. So, and I can see why Mans, uh, he, uh, Mans is called the, the Tonga Michael Jackson. Because he's nice with the moves, you know. He's nice with the music, dog. You know, he's like the full package, dog. He can DJ. Yeah, boy. So, please help me welcome one of the best dressed artists La like South Africa. Goes by the name of Musa Keys. Musa Keys, how are you, brother? I'm delicious, brother. How are you doing? Oh, good, you know, man. Like, like, I hope you don't mind. Can I also start saying that to people? Like, I'm delicious. It's so cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Sure, bro. <laughs> run with it. Run with it. Let Durban know that you're delicious. <laughs> That's what's up, my G. And also, man, I have to give you props, bro. Like, yo, I, I think the first time we spoke, I didn't even know what the word drip means. But now yes, I can sir. see that you're one of the kings of the drip, dog. Like, for real, man. Shout out for real for a yan yan. <laughs> Showcase. Do you style yourself or nomad? Is there somebody who takes care of you? Yes, sir. I style myself, bro. I'm not dressed. I don't have a stylist. I don't have none of that. I do it myself. And what? I do it with my God. <laughs> Mind you, like, where does it come from? Is it just like a family thing? Everybody in your family, like, you know, got style? Or no, is it something man, that man, you... Man, 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 that's My family don't know how to drip at all. <laughs> <laughs> We're Tonga, anyway. Like, so, they are very colorful and all over the place. So, I don't know, man. I think maybe the influence I had through watching a lot of TV growing up, you know? Yeah. And also the, the the kind of people I used to to, to to like follow growing up, I think they were very um um, um drip orientated, you know. Sure, sure, sure. Now I get you, Doc. Do you think that you're the be- uh, one of well top five best dressed in the country, males? Top two. Top two. Mm. Do I sh- should I I'm ask who's number, number one? Two. No, not number two. Oh, Yazi, let's leave it there. Let's leave it there. Yes, Look, Bafo, uh, you mentioned your background, Fitzwa, and um, I was actually very surprised that you actually have a church background, you know? That's actually where you learned how to play the piano, the keys. And now yes, you are sir. a famous I'm a piano star. You're touring Africa, man. Like, I don't know, um, uh, uh, have you just come back from tour? Or are you going to tour? I actually just started on... I'm back on tour. Started on Thursday. I was in media on Thursday, and then yeah, man. Monday we're doing Kenya. Today we're in Newcastle. Um, Monday we do Kenya. Thursday we're doing Zambia. Like it goes on, it goes on and on. Man, that's what I'm saying. You're touring Africa, dog. So I'm, and and you know what, Fetu? Like the one thing I like about you, Musa Keys, is that you actually make real music. You know, which happens to be hits, but it's real music. I mean, we look at Ivulam Lomo. That's a really beautiful song. Went double platinum. Uh, you're doing the most. So how has fame changed your life? As somebody who comes from church, who grew up in church, who has church values, how has now being in the spotlight, being famous, changed your life? And do you still go to church? Hey, church, ne? I'm I'm literally on the road every day. If I'm not in, if I'm not on the road, I'm at home resting. You know, so there's not my time. But you know, we gotta praise the Lord all the time. Um, how has it changed me? I think I think it just made me aware of a lot of other things. You know, about the industry, about people, about about music itself. How much music can take care of a person? You know how my music can can just change a person as a whole you know change your life and make and put you in a better space uh it could be mentally it might not be financially it could be mentally it could be physically because you're always on the road you know there's just so many ways music can change you so yeah Mm. Mm. so would you say that the change is challenging or because you expected uh, to be as big a star as you are, it, it, it's, it's not really that tough. You're kind of rolling with it. Sometimes it's not that tough, but sometimes it is challenging because there are new things that you you, could, you, come, you come across. You know, there's some things that I've never experienced. I remember when I was in a relationship, I used to tell the girl, I'm like, yo, there are some things I won't, be, I won't have explanations for because I've never been there before. It's not like I know how it feels like being Chris Brown, you know? Until I get there, that's when I'm gonna know that, yo, actually, this thing goes like this. 
Ah, man, that's deep, dog. That's deep. Yo, I have to say congratulations on Teo, bro. Your debut album not only went gold in its first four months, but your album Teo has been streamed over 25 million times. I'm going to say that again, right? 25 million times. Dude, you're obviously a big deal. So the numbers don't lie. The numbers are saying that you're a big deal. And it's fact, man. Look... This is a huge success for your debut album. Do you feel the pressure to now produce a similar sort of magic or maybe a better sort of magic for your next project after the success of your debut album, Teo? Better. A better one, bro, with more collabs and more international collabs, you know. I think from now from now on, it's more about um, world domination, you know. I'm no longer trying to dominate in South Africa or Africa as a whole. I'm trying to move on to different spaces, different countries. You know, introducing the sound to new spaces. I feel you, man. But do do you feel the pressure of 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 putting it together, making it as big as Teo, or is that something you're just not even thinking about? You're just doing what's in your heart. Right now, I'm just making music. Hey, I don't want to lie. But when when I start with my album creation, that's when I'm gonna feel the pressure because obviously, if I set the bar for myself, when I have yeah. to go over the bar, you know. If possible, even double it, you know, double whatever happens. Because mm. the bar's high, bro. Like, <laughs> 25 million streams is no joke, dog. But I mean, hey, they say that your only competition is yourself. So look, man, uh, one of the hit songs from Teo is Selema. I personally love this song, dude. I really, really do. Fetu, Yabo, the part, Masopo, Mapopo. Bruh, you didn't write that part. You were feeling it right there, right? Am I correct in that? Yeah, Zorski. Bruh, that part is too amazing, man. So, where did you draw inspiration for that song? And and, and, and the po 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 po, like, like, where did all of that come from? I uh, was in Tanzania with an artist called Louis. Um, we're recording. So, my, my, my whole idea of making music is not only to make music for South Africans, you know. I think yeah. Amar Piano is a solid sound and genre to actually dominate the world. So it's like let me rather let me rather create a fusion. Let me create a fusion of of of, of sound. You know, let me make a sound that's gonna be very universal, whereby yeah. everybody will understand, regardless of who you like, your tribe or your language or anything. I just need you to buy out, feel the feeling that I, I felt. You know, my music is a feeling. I make music yeah. out of how I'm feeling. If I'm not feeling good, I don't make music at all. If I'm not okay mentally, I don't make music at all. Because for me, music is a feeling. I need to, you need to experience, hence I also create the kind of um, experiences for my performances. You need to feel that experience. You need to enjoy it the way I enjoyed it when making it, you know. And Musa Keys, that's exactly why you're in the position you are at, bro. That is exactly why, man. Like, dude, you know what? I see you really becoming one of the biggest stars to come out of Africa, bro. Like, I mean, no cap. So I want to know from you, how far do you want to take the Musa Keys brand? Because I know I saw pictures of you in church, bro. You, you, you look nothing like how you look right now. So I know that you put a lot of thoughts, a lot of efforts, and a lot of work into the Musa Keys that you are right now. So I just want to know, how far do you want to take it, bro? As far as being an icon, bro, I don't call myself Tonga Michael Jackson for nothing. You know, I need to be, I feel like uh, I'm going to be remembered for different reasons. But I, for me to be like, yes, I've actually made it to that point as if I have like an impact like Michael Jackson, you know, I uh, have, have mo- more or <clears throat> more or accomplishments that, like, like the ones he had, you know, and even more than that. So I, I see my brand bigger than, that, you know, bigger than anything. My G, you know what, dude? I believe you, bro. I truly do. And Musa Keys, we support you, bro. Like, keep coming with the good music, bro. We'll always have your back. Thank you for representing South Africa. And I cannot wait for you to make that song with Doja Cat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're going to make a song with Doja happen. Cat, right? It's going to happen. It's going to happen, of course. Thank you for your time, brother. We appreciate you. Shop, shop, down walk.